In the right circumstances, birds can evolve into giants. In the vast majority of cases, they have done this on oceanic islands in the absence of any large land predators. Most of the extinct giant birds are decidedly lacking when it comes to predatory ferocity. Birds like the moa and elephant bird were big animals, but they were gentle vegetarians. However, a long-legged bird living in South America several million years ago gave rise to a group of birds collectively known as the terror birds. As their name suggests, they were big birds. The smallest were at least a meter tall, while the biggest stood as high as three meters. All of them bear the hallmark of being ferocious predators. Why these nightmarish birds came to evolve in South America is fascinating as no other place on earth has ever produced a group of predatory birds. Gigantism in birds is normally associated with herbivory, yet whatever conditions prevailed in South America many millions of years ago allowed the evolution of a successful and varied group of feathered carnivores. Following the extinction of the dinosaurs, many niches in Earth's ecosystem were left wide open for the vertebrate survivors, the mammals, birds and remaining reptiles to evolve into. For many millions of years, large, carnivorous, placental mammals were absent from South America, and in the absence of these predators, the ancestors of the terror birds evolved to fill this niche. Many of them were big and powerful enough to have been the top predators at the time and preyed on the mammals in their ecosystem. In 2003, a high school student in Patagonia unearthed an almost complete skull of a new terror bird species. This skull was around a meter long and it gave a true sense of what imposing creatures terror birds must have been. However, the largest known species of terror bird was the gargantuan Brontornis bromestri, identified from the remains discovered in Argentina. This heavily built bird with its massive head rivals the elephant bird of Madagascar for the title of the biggest bird that has ever lived. Remains of this monster are also very rare, but it has been estimated that it weighed 350 to 400 kilograms and was probably around 3 meters tall. Like the rest of its kind, it was a meat eater, and in life it must have been a truly spectacular creature. All but one of the terror birds paleontologists know of today has been unearthed in South America. One species, Titanus wallerae, managed to reach North America, and it appears to have been quite a success, surviving for more than 3 million years, until it disappeared around 1.8 million years ago, the last of its kind to become extinct. Even though this American species was not the biggest terror bird, it must have still been a terrifying animal. Its vital statistics are impressive. 1.4 to 2.5 meters tall and 150 kilograms in weight. It also had an immense hooked bill and with such an impressive beak, it could have probably swallowed a lamb-sized animal in one gulp. Although we can piece together the skeletons of the terror birds, it's impossible to know what their plumage was like. However, we can look at living birds for clues, and if the other flightless birds are anything to go by, the terror bird's feathers may have been rather hair-like. Like the vast majority of flightless birds, terror birds had stubby little wings, but what they lacked in the wing department, they more than made up for with their long, powerful legs, which ended in large feet and fearsome claws. These legs gave these animals a good turn of speed, and it has been estimated that some species of terror bird could reach speeds of 100 km per hour, comparable to a cheetah. The combination of running, big talons, and a monstrous beak made the terror birds very effective predators. It is possible to imagine one of these birds snapping at the hooves of ancient mammals as it pursued them across grasslands of the Americas. Smaller animals were probably immobilized with the sharp talons before being torn apart by the fearsome hooked bill, or even swallowed whole after having their skull crushed in the bird's vice-like grip. Larger prey animals may have been disemboweled with Kung Fu-style kicks as it is even possible that crushing cakes may have been used to crack the larger bones of the big prey to get to the nutritious marrow within. Even if the last terror bird became extinct around 1.8 million years ago, these were successful animals that, as a group, survived for more than 50 million years. 
some of them even taking on the mantle of top land predator in the ecosystems in which they lived. However, around 2.5 million years ago, during the Pliocene Epoch, something happened that completely changed the course of life for South America's unique animals, the Great American Interchange. The land bridge that formed between North and South America that is now known as the Isthmus of Panama allowed animals from the North to migrate into South America. Among them were lots of predatory cats and it has been proposed that these animals were so effective as predators that they outcompeted the terror birds. The talons and beaks of the terror bird were no match for the teeth, claws and hunting prowess of the invaders from the North. This is a very neat answer for the cause of the extinction of the terror bird. However, the extinction of the terror bird is very unlikely to be due to one fact. It's instead a combination of events. Perhaps climate change directly affected the terror birds by changing their habitats and the population of their prey. Although there is a great deal we don't know about the life and times of the terror birds, we do know that one of their number somehow managed to cross into North America and spread through the southern states. For a long time, it was assumed that the North American terror bird spread north via the land bridge, but analysis of its ancient bones paints an alternative picture, as they appear to have reached the southern states of America before the land bridge formed. Perhaps falling sea levels due to the growth of polar ice sheets reveal the path of island stepping stones across the gap of open ocean that would have become the Isthmus of Panama. These stepping stones allowed the giant birds to colonize the prehistoric North America. Maybe other species of terror bird, the remains of which are yet to be discovered, also reached North America before following the rest of their amazing kind into the pages of Earth history.